Hi and welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new video of the series People Worth Knowing About. Today we're going to be talking about someone whose story is insane. It makes us see the reality and how hard the world is but also it's sad. So her name is Nora Vincent. You probably know who she is. She was an American, okay, she was an American writer. She lived in Manhattan, she was a lesbian woman and lived in Manhattan with a partner Lisa. And she was a writer, right? So she was really interested in like gender roles, how it, she already knew what it was to be a woman, right? How it felt. And she was interested in gender roles, so she was interested in knowing how it felt to be a man. How was life from man's eyes? You know, she had always been here in feminism, feminism and the extreme feminism that we have nowadays, right? Um, so she really wanted to see on first hand, she wanted to see herself what it is like to be a man, you know, as real as it can get. So she decided to do what she called the experiment of her life. And she, for 18 months, and in order to get inspired for the book that she wrote, um, named Self Made Man, so... She did this, okay, to get inspired. So for 18 months, she became a man. Not literally, okay, but like she went to makeup parties um, with wool. They, they like, you know, to get facial hair uh, pasted. They were, they took wool and made it super tiny, tiny, tiny pieces, uh, millimeters, you know, to, to paste it on her face. And she even went to classes, vocal classes, in order to you know, have a thicker voice and talk slower and talk more like a man, okay? Because she really needed to make everyone that she was going to interact with for the rest of those 18 months, everyone had to believe she was a man, right? So she took it really, really seriously, taking all these classes, changing her appearance in a crazy way. Her height was perfect though. I mean, obviously men can be all heights, but like she was 170 eight which is quite tall centimeters is quite tall for a woman so she had that pack covered and so basically she got ready to live like a man and do manly things you know she went to clubs she you know hanged out with men she made a group of friends who obviously were only men and she started to realize that women have it way easier and she she suffered a lot, you know, because she realized how hard men have it. And I personally feel like if you're a man, it's like either you're super confident and successful and you have it all figured it out and like you're successful, successful. And if, if you know, you like, imagine like you're in a bar and you like someone, like, you know, that woman is not going to reject you because you know how confident you are in yourself but most men are not like this you know most men are not like super masculine like and you know I feel like most men have insecurities like everyone else right and if you are a softer man or more insecure life is truly hard and also girls treat you like pop and this is also what she realized she acted the way that she thought that woman would want to be treated and she come to realize that they didn't want such a thing. She had plenty of days, more than 30 days with different women that she met online or he met online. By the way, um, he, she, okay, when she was a man for this experiment during 18 months, she was called Ned, okay? So the man she was representing was called Ned and she like made his personality, how he was going to think, which, which kind of man, what kind of man was Ned going to be? So that's what what she acted like, right? And all the women he met, Ned, didn't want a second date. And she was treating them the way that she think women would want to be treated, you know? So Ned, you know, in the experiment, he was like a soft man, nice, friendly, with a really good heart. And he realized well, women actually really want a masculine man. So they wouldn't like someone like Ned, which is most men. They will want a very like, you know, masculine man. And the, the problem here is that when you're like Ned, women treat you like a scumbag when you're not. My life becomes hard because, you know, and how she also experienced how hard it is for men when you like someone, you know, because women have this mindset of, 
which I personally have too, of like, if you like me, you do the first step, you know, right? So for men, it's really hard. You know, that's what she saw as well. How hard it is for men to talk to a woman when most cases, maybe they're going to be rejected. And the thing is, they're not even going to be rejected in a nice way. They're going to be rejected as if they had a disease, you know, and especially if the woman is too confident, they just treat him like he's like a rat. And it's really sad. So obviously during this whole experiment, her mental health declined and went really bad. Because like, actually, I'm just imagining being in her shoes, especially because I'm a small, for me, it will be even harder, you know, like, because ev in every single way, it's not even woman, you're going to be treated differently. When you, she went to buy a car, when she went as a woman, he was making everything easy, he was even flirting, which is not, okay, maybe that's not right. But like, you know, everything was like, oh, so she was treated like a woman, right? And she was treated in this soft manner. And like making, we made everything easy and this. But when she went as Ned, as a man, oh Lord, when she went as Ned, he was all like super serious, super professional. It's like whether you have the money or not, you know, there's no trying to be kind. And as a man, people also expect you to have it all together. Yeah. How many times is what when a man is like being abused by the partner whether it's emotionally or physically especially physically they make they're made fun of sorry I'm a bit nervous I get really nervous when I record videos so I'm sorry my English has not been perfect or if I'm not explaining myself perfectly well I'm a Spanish okay so I'm trying my best I just feel like my pronunciation is not on point but um you know that, that's, that is the problem, in my, my opinion. They also expect that you're going to have everything figured out together because you're a man and you have to. And the amount of men that I've had and that I've seen on the news and I've seen things, that they go to a police station to report the woman is literally uh, threatening them with a knife or, like, hitting them and then not doing it back. And they are li the police literally laughs at them. So it's all a bit of... It's just so hypocrite, the world, you know? Or like against violence and stuff. But then when men actually have an issue. Because they're supposed to have it all figured out. and That's another problem to leave aside. But basically Nora, as this experiment, lost it. She, she changed. It changed her perspective completely. She realized women weren't really masculine men. And if you're not masculine, they treat you like horrib horribly. She realized that men don't have it easy at all, that they're supposed to have everything figured out together, that they lack empathy by the world itself. There's no empathy for men. You know, it's like I, either you're strong or you're going to struggle. You know, it's strong or struggle, you choose. So it's very hard. And also as, as men, obviously men communicate in different ways. So I'm not really sure about this because women, we really need to talk all the time about how we feel, why we feel in a certain way, why this, why that. And talk, talk, talk. Men, I believe they communicate in a different way. Maybe they don't need to talk as much about how they feel all the time. But she also realized how men lack communication and not so much how they like it, but how they struggle. In terms of like when they want to talk about something or communicate how they feel about something bad or anything, you know, that they're struggling with, they struggle to say so, you know, because they believe they're going to be told, oh, man up, you know, oh, you're a man. Well, are you a man or a little girl, you know? So there's always this stigma that they cannot really share how they feel. And there's so many men, as you know, that kill themselves every year. No one talks about it, you know, and, and it's a massive problem because... They feel alone. They feel like they cannot even say how they feel because they're going to be embarrassed and people are going to laugh at them. Society is going to mock them. So they feel like they need to restrict themselves and keep all their emotions to themselves, which sometimes it can, it can really put you into a dwell that you cannot get out of. So with this experiment, I think it really just makes us see that as women, especially in this video, I wish many women saw it, especially women that are like feminists or very like extreme feminist. And they realize that we have it way easier. We can have any mistakes in life, real life. Well, it's always real life, but like in life or when we are outside with a car or in a supermarket. And because you're a woman, you're always going to 
people are always going to have more empathy with you. Like, oh, this or that. But if you're a man, you're looked with different eyes. You know? I'm not going to say they, they look at you with hate. But when you're a woman, you can just... You know the amount of times that I've had issues, a problem, or I'm like this or that, and people just help you. And now, it's like when I think about it, if I was a man, I would not be being treated like this. I wouldn't be getting the same help. Or they wouldn't, they wouldn't just be as kind. So it really makes you think, it really makes you realise... How hard it is as a man, you constantly have to prove yourself. You know, when Ned went on all these dates, he felt like he constantly had to prove himself to this woman that he didn't even know. They're no one. You know, they are no one, probably not even worth it. But he had to constantly, whether they're worth it or not, to even find out, had to constantly prove himself that he's cool, that, you know, he has this, he's doing this, he's doing that. The woman just had to be kind and nice, and, and, and that was enough, right? So... It really makes you think, and I think the the point with this video is like, let's be, please, empathic. Let's have empathy. You know, we already have empathy with women. Let's have empathy with men. Let's realize that they have it. They don't have it easy. Let's, if, if, if a man, you know, if you're single and a man goes to you to talk to you because he likes you and he, you don't like how he looks, you don't, you're not attracted to him, do not be a bad person and don't, like, embarrass him with your friends like this typical bitchy thing that women do I mean I know this is gonna sound so bad but I don't like most women um because th all I hear is just like oh men are the worst thing in the world I hate men or I, w I wish men ex extend like what the hell like this is all I hear from my the, the girls that were my closest friends and that's why now I don't really have friends and I'm okay with it but it, it is hard and I just wish we had more empathy because these are the kind of girls that laugh about men, you know. So it is sad. It's really sad. And you know what's sad about um, this woman that made this experiment, Nora Vincent, is the fact that I also want to say I'm not sure if it's because of the experiment, okay. Because she went to Switzerland to do acid suicide at the age of 53 only, which honestly breaks my heart. It was 15 years after the experiment, so I'm not really sure if she committed this assisted suicide because of this or not. I've read she had psychological problems before. I don't really know, because when she talks about the experiment, she seems like a super intelligent woman. She seems very, like, she seems like super... Okay, I mean, I know you cannot tell if someone is mentally, psychologically okay from a video, but like she seems so well in her mind. So it shocked me so much, you know, it made me really sad. And I, I really didn't expect it because I was watching the video about the experiment she made, she made her as a man and everything. And then when I realized and I read in the comments she had um, done this assisted suicide in Switzerland, I was like, what on earth? But I do know as a fact that after the experiment, okay, during the 18th month that she became net, to know how men feel and how men live life and how it is through it, through their eyes, I know that after this she needed psychological help and with her, with her own will because of the emotional damage she had had by doing this experiment, she did herself decided, okay, by her own choice to go to a... I don't know, like a mental hospital, I think you'll say. So she decided to go into a mental hospital by her will because of how much it affected her seeing how life was as a man. And, and this is crazy and it is so sad. And once again, seeing this, if she did this assisted suicide because of that emotional damage that she did suffer, which I'm not fully aware or sure of, my brain would just, you know, because once again we have it easier and I'm not saying we have it easy okay I believe men are women we have different struggles as a woman you know we have periods honestly guys maybe you're probably a man watching this I'm not sure but like period as they make you just not want to exist and then birth and all this listen in in our in our emotion you know because with the period we're so emotional and we're emotional all the time we're like a bomb all the time 
and having to control our emotions as women is also very hard. So we both have it hard, but we do acknowledge that women have it hard in the way that we do. But as men, we don't acknowledge how hard men have it. In fact, feminism is just destroying them. It's like going in with your shoes, like, bah, 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 bah. men are here. Duh, 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 duh. That's what feminism does. It's like just destroy anything that has anything to do with men. And I think we should acknowledge men. Just like, we need men. In all these videos about what do you need a man for? And every single girl is like, we don't need them for nothing. <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not funny, honey. It's not. So, yeah, we need men. We need each other, but we need men. And I just hope that this inspires you. And thank you to Nora Vincent. Obviously, she's not going to see this, unfortunately. But thank you for, for doing this experiment um, that really, really... I believe made a difference. I, I really think it made a difference and I'm thankful for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, please follow. I felt so nervous doing this because it's hard. I, I love talking, but it's hard to expose yourself in any social media. But at the same time, there's something about it that I love. Yeah, because I never... I always was like the outcast in the school. I didn't really have many friends and I was really quiet, so... This is like really cool for me. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you soon. I will be doing more videos of this series people worth knowing about. And I truly hope you enjoy it. I'll see you very soon. Take care of yourself. And I wish you all the best in the world.